Hey guys, this video stood on my to-do list longer than it should, and I'm happy that I finally took the time to make it because during the next few minutes I will walk you through some of the best free tools for YouTubers to get started with their channels. But don't think that these are just for YouTubers, these tools are for basically everyone. If you like to edit pictures or videos and stuff like this and you don't want to spend money for it. Please keep in mind that this video is about free tools, free software. Some of them, all of them I guess, have paid versions, but in this video I will focus only on the free versions, because that's what I'm using. I don't use paid versions for any of them and I never had any problems or felt any limitations whatsoever. And believe me, if you are new on YouTube, just starting your own channel, or you have already some videos and some experience in this matter, these tools have everything you need and more. Make sure you watch the video until the end so you won't miss my personal favorite, which in my opinion is the number one free piece of software out there. I even put timestamps in this video so you won't miss it, and I never put timestamps because, you know, I'm lazy. Before we go on with the video, I need to share with you some things about today's sponsor, Winix HD Video Converter Deluxe from Digitary. They do sponsor today's video, but this is not the first time I'm actually using this software. If you browse my videos, you'll find that this icon appears on my taskbar basically from the beginning. With Winix, you can do video merging, video improvement and customize your output settings. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. You can easily convert over 370 different videos into over 420 video and audio formats. The software also offers extra features to process your video with ease, like support for 8K, 4K, 1080p, high quality engine technology for image enhancement, hardware acceleration, functional built-in media player, and editing like trimming, splitting, cutting, subtitle, merge, enhance, slideshow creation with audio and many many more. So no time like the present, click on the link in the description and download it now for free. The first tool on this list is Pixel Lab, which is actually a smartphone app and the only way to use it on PC is with an emulator. Now I personally used Pixel Lab for more than one year making all my thumbnails on it and it's fast, it's very easy to use, intuitive and the great thing about it is that it lets you add all kinds of elements so you can create your own composition that fits your work the best. You can insert your own pictures or start from scratch with your own text or use one of the many motivational quotes that Pixel Lab includes. Now personally I never use motivational quotes but everything else the app is just perfect. Now Pixel Lab is not just for thumbnails, you can create all kinds of cool things on it. For example, I made both my logos on this app. Yes, I made my logos on the phone and I'm actually very happy with it. Also my old banner, elements that I used in videos and so on. And believe me, this, what I made is nothing compared with what other people can do on this app. So yes, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. Now the second name on this list is Canva. Canva is basically what I replaced Pixel Lab with. If Pixel Lab is great on the phone, Canva is amazing on PC. And yes, Canva is also an app and the best part of it is that you can work on the same project from PC and phone. So if you have unfinished work and you need to go, you can definitely continue on your phone while you're having that boring bus ride or whatever. Canva allows for sophisticated design without being tricky to use, and when I say without being tricky to use, I really mean it. This tool is so easy to use that it kind of makes me mad that I haven't tried it earlier. What I personally like about Canva is the option to animate your creation, to say it like this, and to save it as an mp4. To explain what this actually means, for a while I've used my thumbnails also as intros for my videos, which is a pretty cool thing to have for basically no extra effort or time spent. You make your thumbnail, you save it as a thumbnail, but next to it you can also select an animation you like and save it as an mp4. Now you have a thumbnail and an intro. If you take your channel serious, then sooner or later you'll need Photoshop. But Photoshop is expensive, that's a fact, and no don't use cracked software. I don't think that I have to explain why, unless you're one of those persons who likes to sleep with the door open at night with a sign that says unlocked, please rob me, then you should stay away from it. Anyway, back to Photoshop being expensive. Here's where Photopea comes in, which is basically an online web-based Photoshop clone. Not exactly as advanced as current Photoshop versions, but it does all the basic things and maybe even a little more than basic. Anyway, so before you say, wait a minute, how about GIMP? GIMP is very good and it's also free. And you may be correct, but unlike GIMP, I don't have to install Photopea and waste resources. I can work on it from a browser. And what I personally like about it is its own PSD template section, which has a reasonable size of mockups for YouTube, Instagram, social media in general, banners, thumbnails, texts, and many, many more. And this thing alone makes Photopea a time-saving tool. So if you are in a hurry and you want to do something very fast, Photopea is a great choice. 
Yes, another photo app. I know I'm 4 out of 5 on this list and so far I've just talked about photo editing apps but you know, thumbnails, logo, intro and banners are a very important part of the channel. Previously I've talked about Photopea as a Photoshop replacement but to be honest I don't know shit about photo editing except for the very basic I'm a total noob and when it comes to removing the background I am useless. I don't get it and it always takes ages in my case anyway. That's why I always rely on apps to do this for me. And none does it better than Photoroom. Like Photopea and Canva, it's web-based, which means you can use it from a browser, but also as an app on the phone. And in both cases, it does the job very well. Extremely well. Just upload the picture you need and that's it. The app does the rest. Simple as that. So, to understand, everything that I showed you so far was not part of a top, like top 5. They are all good and you should use them how it seems fit for you. However, if this video would have been a top 5, then DaVinci Resolve would occupy the first place. In fact, any top of this kind that I can think of would have DaVinci Resolve as number 1 in my opinion. In this short amount of time I cannot even start explaining how great DaVinci Resolve is and everything that it can do for this incredible price of free. Everything you need for editing is here. The color correction tab is industry standard. Yes, Hollywood uses this software, this exact piece of software to color grade movies like this. You can also do visual effects, motion graphics or audio post-production all in one tool. And to get a little personal, DaVinci Resolve is actually the reason why this channel exists in the first place. It all started with me wanting to make better edits for family videos. At the time I was editing on the phone and that was not working great. So I did some research and DaVinci Resolve seemed the best choice. The only problem was that I didn't have the laptop powerful enough for this software. I had an old low-end laptop without a graphics card, a low processor and not enough budget to buy a new one. So what I did, I've upgraded my laptop with an external graphics card, yeah, a desktop graphics card, SSD, RAM, all kinds of stuff, just so I can edit in DaVinci Resolve. And while I was doing the upgrade, I thought, why should I not film this? And so I did, and this is the way the first video on this channel was created. DaVinci Resolve is great in any aspect I can think of, and while when it comes to visual effects is not as good as After Effects for example, but yet again is also not as expensive as After Effects, with enough time and dedication you can still do amazing things on it. I can't imagine using other software for editing instead of DaVinci Resolve, free or paid. And I will not enter in technical details and tell you what every tab can do because I would need a whole series of videos for this. I will just leave you with some links in the description of some great YouTube channels that help me learn everything I know about it. And as a side note, everything that I know doesn't even scratch the surface of what DaVinci Resolve can actually do. I hope this video was helpful if you are new on YouTube or you just don't want to pay money for software and if it was please consider subscribing to my channel so you won't miss my next video and please let me know if I should do more of this type of videos because honestly I had fun doing it so thank you very much and cheers.